and welcome to another episode of you tour today i'm coming to you from the mole national park home of wildlife the mole national park sits on the gonja land well if you have not been to the park before don't worry at all because i'm going to give you a vivid description of what happens here and if you have also been here before i'm very sure that there were some questions you forgot to ask these are the kind of answers i am going to find for you so come with me let us explore the mole national park my name is frema this is you tour on city tv <music> Right, so I'm here at the reserve, you know, and we have different types of animals. I'm currently waiting for my tour guide to take me on the safari ride. Come with me because trust me, it's really going to be adventurous. There's so much to see. There's so many questions that I would love to ask. I've heard that there's an elephant here who is as old as 79 years old. I really want to see that elephant and many more. This is the Mole National Park. This is Utah. Let's go. the Mole National Park. Today Utah is coming to you right from this park. Interesting one there. I'm really enjoying where I'm sitting because I feel like I'm on top of the world. You know how it feels like when you can see everything. So I have with me a tour guide who is going to be telling me much more about the Mole National Park. Everything there is to know. And you know sometimes there are certain places that is really fun when you go as a group. And that is why I have my friends right here with me. Hey guys! <laughs> All right, so tell me your name. My name is Albert Kipo. Albert? I'm a tour guide in Moli National Park. Okay. And I've been the assistant for the past 10 years. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Moli National Park was established in 1930. Okay. Uh, uh, the reason of controlling tetanus flies that were transmitting diseases to the, the people that were staying here. Mm. There were communities that were staying in Moli National Park. Oh, really? And they were getting diseases known as trypanosomiasis. Oh. So the government said that these uh, diseases they are getting are the host of the animals that they were living with. So, and for that matter, they should kill all the animals so that the people will stay without sickness. So they were killing the animals to the extent of 3,000 square kilometers. And then the same government foresaw that no, let's make it a game reserve instead of killing the animals. So they evacuated the people and then make it a game reserve. That was in 1958. Wow. So Moli National Park was made a game reserve in 1958. Okay. And then in 1971, it was officially gazetted a national park. And the size of the park, they have increased. See, I've seen a monkey. Yeah, oh, a monkey see them. Yeah, we have a, these are vivid monkeys. Okay. And we have four species of monkeys in Moli National Park. All right, so we'll come mm. to that too. I'm enjoying yeah. the story. Okay, as it's happening, so the government said this. So, uh, uh, they, ma they made it a national, a national a, a, it has officially it gazetted a national park mm. in 1971. Okay. And then they increased the size from 3,000 square kilometers to 4,577 square kilometers. Wow. So, this is the current size of Moli National Park. Okay, right. So, what kind of animals do we have here? Yeah, we have 93 species of mammals that are living in Moli 
National Park. Mm. We have over 600 individual elephants that are living in Moli National Park. 600? 600, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So Moli is the heart of wildlife in Ghana. Yeah. Uh, and it's the biggest national park we have in the country. With, without Moli, there's no wildlife in Ghana. Obviously. In the northern part of Ghana, it is the major pulling force of tourist attraction. Mm. Yeah. All right. Right. So, how often do visitors come here? How much are they supposed to pay? Ghanaians, non ghanaians yes. Visitors come here daily. Every day, visitors do come here. Mm -hmm. Foreigners and then nationals. Okay. The payment of nationals, the entrance fee, the entrance fee for the nationals is adults pay twenty cities per person, and then national students, tertiary, they pay ten cities per person. Mm. And then students from senior high also pay five CDs. Junior high to primary school pay two CDs mm. as the entrance fee. When you enter the national park, mm. primary, GSS and senior high, we have free safari for them. Okay. But tertiary pay three CDs per person at the safari office as the guide fee. Okay. Mm. Right. So um, are you supported by government or you use your internally generated funds to take care of the reserve yes we are supported by government okay yeah. so workers here are being paid by government yes workers here are being paid by government we take our salary from controller okay, yes. okay. We're, right we're on payroll mm. so the money that you collect from visitors what do you do with them yeah it it goes to the first commission's accounts okay uh, it's, 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 it's internal revenue that we made and the money goes to the first commission accounts mm. so the government is aware of what is happening here Okay, so do you have accommodation here? Yes, we have accommodation. We just we as tour guys, we have accommodation here. We live in the in the park. All right. What about for visitors? So, for instance, I come, I don't want to go. Can I get a place to stay? Yeah, we, we have Moli Motel and then Zena Lodge. Okay. And these are the accommodations we have for our guests. Mm. Yes. Well, when I look we around, have foreigners and then Ghanaians. Okay. Mm. When I look around, the whole place look. It's beautiful it looks well put together it looks like there are no issues here are there any problems in I mean at the park you know it's a restricted zone because mm -hmm. it's a national park and everything in the national park is protected okay so animals we are protecting both animals Ooh. plants all the this is scary the water body and everything mm -hmm. yes so here it's a restricted zone okay. if you enter here unlawfully will arrest you. Okay. But, but do you get people coming in and lawfully? You know how sometimes we can be trying to hunt in them and get game and stuff? Yes, we will make sure that when you enter here and lawfully and you are caught, you will be dealt with. All right, so are you able to like go inside from time to time, like patrol to make sure that everything is sorted? Yes, we have law enforcement unit. Mm. They are in charge of patrol duties. They go for patrols to check illegal activities, okay. All right. like poaching okay. and uh, animal behavior, and then what have you. So when the animals are sick, yeah. are you able to tell? And what happens? Yes, yeah, we have report forms that we normally for for sick animals, mm -hmm. and then the unsick animals. Okay. Uh, All right. So where are we now? We are at Sambole Loop. We are on safari. We are now going on safari to look for animals. Okay. So what are we likely to find in this area? Yes, there's a great likelihood that as we are going, we will see a couple of animals. But we don't know. We don't know yeah. exactly what we are going to see. We don't know. I cannot tell you exactly what we are going to see. And I know very well that as we are going, we will see species of animals. Okay. Are we going to get down? That depends. When we get a place and especially when we are getting to the elephant and it's a, it's a distance from where we are, and the car cannot go there. Okay. I think we have to get down and walk a little closer to the Aren't elephant. we going to be attacked? Yes, we have a limited distance to watch elephants. Okay. We have a limited distance to watch elephants, which is 50 meters distance. <gasps> no, but you know, this is scary. I mean, I love the place at all, but your car is scary. I mean, this car. Oh, uh, oh, we have qualified drivers that take this up. It's not about qualified drivers, it's about the car. I mean, the car looks so not strong and it looks like we are going to be falling over. Oh yeah, you will not be falling. I believe the car is... Has there been any accidents here before? It never happened. Since, I yeah, you. It never happened since Molly's 
Moli National Park started and we started safari duties. It never happened. Right, so you're on yes. TV. I mean, people, the authorities are listening to you, whatever. They are watching you. Are you not going to tell them to replace the cars for you? I think, yeah, it will be, yeah, it will be good that so way. So tell right? them, because this is scary. I'm scared, honestly, I'm yeah. scared. But, oh, I, I will give you Guys, aren't you scared? I mean, what is scared, yeah. Mm -hmm. We I'll are scared. You, I'll give you credit that you shouldn't be scared, because yeah. the driver is good. Don't, 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 don't bother the nature of the car. But the, right. the, the driver is a concern. Okay. And he's one of the experienced drivers we have. All right, so who manages the vehicles? Is it also the Forestry Commission? No, no, it's not the Forestry Commission that is managing the vehicle. It's so, a, so who? Uh, the vehicle is, is for companies. It's the company that is managing the vehicle. Which company? And then paying a percentage okay. to the department. Which company? Neon Consult Company. Neon. Consult, yeah. All right, so Neon Consult, I think you need to bring us new cars. Because these are quite old. How long have you had these here? Oh, for the past 10 years. Come on, Neon Consult, 10 years. I mean, your cars, no, because I'm seeing some wooden slabs and um, the car is a little bit rickety. I'm just trying to be um, modest here, but it can be very scary, especially when it's turning. We feel like we are falling over. Yeah. I'm sure you love everything you're seeing here. Oh. What don't you like? Well, the the road is a bit scary for me. Okay. When the way the car turns, apart from that, I think I like the scenery here. Great. Yeah. All right. So it's about the car. Yeah. But safari cars, a uh, safari roads need not to be more travel. You know, we have some. It's because they, they said that there are so many instances that okay. tourists themselves use their own cars for safari, mm. and some are rough drivers. When the roads are more travel, they will be speeding and finally kill some of the animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we made it rough. Yeah. And then again, the mod the modulation of the cars is the likeness, the yeah, the, it, and the likeness of the tourists, especially the white, the foreigner when they come and they sit on top of cars like they become happy. Oh no, but we are also tourists. It doesn't yeah. matter who is coming, yeah. black or white. Exactly. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah. we I love the concept of the car yeah. that you sit up, you can see whatever is going on. Yeah. All I'm saying is, it needs to be stronger. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, don't agree I'm with grateful. You? Yes, I also like it too. So. Okay, mm -hmm. because your your life is also very important. Yes, yeah, very, very. Not important. just the animals. Yeah, not just the animals. <laughs> yes, it's very important. Yeah. All That's right. Good. So, how do you feel about the whole train? Well, it's exciting. Um, I'm thinking that the government can do better with regards to the vehicles. Actually, I think this vehicle is a C registered. Oh, you even checked? Yeah, it's a C registered. I mean, <laughs> 2019. All right, so um, I can see some brown stuff over there. Where exactly are we and what's that? Yeah, that's elephant poopoo. -poo. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't even look like poopoo. -poo. Yeah, this area is a waterlogged area. That made us to put stones to prevent stack oh. uh, of uh, some of the uh, of cars, especially in the rainy season. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, uh, um, the elephants move around here? Yes. The park is for them. We are rather invading their territory. That is really? their natural habitat. Yeah. So we are rather invading their territory. So wow. any park of the park, elephants are moving there. Wow. Mm -hmm. The 4,000 square kilometers is for the elephants. I want to see an elephant. They go there, they go for and come. Mm -hmm. That's for them. Okay. How do you tell if you are approaching one? No, can I take your question? How do you tell if you are approaching an, an elephant? Okay. If there's an elephant in the vicinity, when we are approaching an elephant, yeah. the first thing is I'll tell you that yes, mm -hmm. I am the guide. Yeah. I have the experience of the wild animals. Yeah. Whatever I say, make sure you follow. Mm -hmm. Take me. Okay. I know the behavior of them. Because when it is about charging, I'll let you know that this elephant wants to charge. So let's withdraw. What, what is charge? Charging when it's aggressive okay. and they're trying to chase you. Ooh, they chase yes. sometimes. Yeah, sometimes they do chase us. Okay. Is that why you have a gun? That, yes, it's for your protection. Okay, so have you used it before? I personally have never used my weapon since I started as a tour guide. For the 10 years? For the 10 years experience. Why? Does that mean that nobody has been attacked before? Yes, nobody has been attacked before. And again, but 
we, we don't even pray for somebody to be attacked before we, yeah. we start taking precautions. Okay. Uh, so what makes the elephants charge? Is it because of something they see or something you do? What happens? Yes. When you when you you are going too close to the elephants, mm. they try to scare you away. Okay. Uh, it does. It doesn't know whether you are coming to attack it. So the best thing is to scare you. Don't come close. It will give you a, a warning sign. There are some antelopes in front of us. Antelopes. Oh. Antelopes. <laughs> so which animals do you have here? We have African buffaloes. Okay. Then we have hartebeest. We have roan antelopes. Mm. We have water box. Okay. We have cubs. We have bush bugs. We have dikes. With their type, great daika, we have red flan daika, we have uribi. Yeah, these are the some of the species I just mentioned. Okay. The name. There are too many, so <laughs> yeah. it's what, what, where are we going again? We are going to the dam. It's like the people have just come here for nothing, no elephant. Uh. So we are going to the water hole okay. to see the elephants. Okay. The elephant, Albert. The elephant. Wow. See me here. Of course, wow. any time they go around to feed, then they finally end up in this pool. We have a lot of pools in Moli National Park, but this very pool, the elephant like to because That's of the size of the pool, and then yeah, and then the males move together. Wow, they mothers. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have time of. They have a one mating season within the year. Mm. Yeah, they have one mating season within the year. But the female will move along with the babies and take care of them. Okay, so how long does it take um, for them to give birth when they are pregnant? When, yes, the gestation period of an elephant is 22 months. Almost two years? Yes, almost two wow. years. That's why they are so huge. Who moves away? The, the females? The, no, the guys move away, leaving the, the females. Move away. Yeah, leaving the females. Don't allow them to yes. the female, the female, because of the babies, they don't come around. The lifespan of an elephant is 65 to 70 years. 65 to 70 years. That time, when you take it, when it is about 65 years old, and you take it to the age. So how dangerous are elephants? So far, elephant is one of the most dangerous animals you've ever seen. Apart from, apart from uh, lion, leopard, buffalo, and other species, elephant is one of the most dangerous animals because it has a very good memory. When you wrong it, for the next ten years, when you come here to identify you, you are kidding. I'm telling you, they will affect that. Elephants? Yes, it will identify you. Wow. So you have to be careful yourself. And they are more dangerous. One is aggressive. It will not just give you a, a, a warning sign immediately. It will, when you are getting closer, then it will give you the warning sign. The, after the warning sign, if you made a mistake, it will take you by surprise. And it's the second fastest animal we have in the forest. Mm. Yes, elephant, elephant can run 45 kilometers per hour. Wow. Mm. The first speed of an elephant is 45 kilometers per hour. Wow. So it's very dangerous. And the best distance to watch an elephant is 50 meters, when there's no obstacle in between you and the elephant. When there's a stream across you, it cannot just chase you like that because of the stream. When it comes to stand, walk slowly down the stream and climb, by then you might have gone. But when there's no obstacle, be careful yourself. 
don't go closer to the elephant. Just like we are watching them in the water. Because they are in the water, that's why we get too close to them. So how old are these ones? Well, this is their natural home. I will not be able to tell, to give you the exact years of them. Yeah. Because we don't monitor their ages. Mm. Yeah. So where we are, we are mm. safe. Yes, we are safe. Okay. Mm. So in case, cool um, in case an elephant wants to attack you, is there anything you can do to keep safe? I mean, sometimes we know that when somebody is chasing you, you don't run in straight line. You yeah. do this, you do that. What can you do about elephants? Yes. When, it, when an elephant is chasing you, you don't have to go a constant direction. You okay. try to maneuver your way by escaping yourself, going a zigzag from just for the elephant not to see you any longer. Mm. Then so you don't need to run a straight course? A straight, no, you don't need to run a straight course. No, it will get you. It will mm. take you by surprise. Mm. Try to meander yourself, go this way, that way, in a zigzag form. Just maneuver and dodge it, it will not see you any longer. Okay. Then again, you see that always when we take tourists to the fall, we take away from. Yeah. It's for the safety of the of you, the guide, and the tourists. Yeah. Giving a warning shot can scare the elephant to run away when okay. it's charged on you. Okay. <laughs> My name is Freeman. You are Gary. Hi, Gary. So, what are you doing here? And explain to me your experience. Yeah, we just come here to see all the wildlife here in Mole National Park. I'm mm -hmm. just here looking at the the elephants in the water. Okay. Yeah, it's a great experience. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time? No, I've been here like four times. Ooh. Yeah. Do you live in Ghana? No, 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 New Zealand. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. So what memories and um, what experiences are you taking back with you to New Zealand? Ah, just all the wildlife stuff, yeah, all the wonderful wildlife that you get to see and the bird life as well, some amazing yeah. birds. Yeah. 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 So when next are you coming yeah. back? Uh, I'm not sure about next time, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So do you always come to the Mullen National Park when you're in Ghana? I have done, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. Like I say, this is maybe my fourth time here, so yeah. yeah we're oh. travelling all over West Africa. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Any special reason or just want to explore? No, just as tourists, just just looking, yeah. The wildlife is always good. Meeting the people as well. Yeah. 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 You know we are good people. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Gary. Let me leave you to enjoy yourself. You see that? Mm -hmm. They are moving around the water. Yeah. It's because of the crocodiles. Why? What would the crocodiles do? Because they eat them Ooh. most often. Uh, the crocodiles, you see that they are, the crocodiles are moving around and they are also moving around. Well, how do you know the crocodiles are moving around? Just watch here. There's a crocodile moving towards the direction of the antelope. Oh, those are crocodiles? Yes, those are crocodiles. In the water. You see, yes. the, you see it moving the water across yeah. it that way. Uh, you see that it's turning to the other side. Yes. It will go and lay ambush on the last end of the water. When they come to drain, then it will grab it, pull it in the water, and it will die. Mm. This is what they do. Of course, but they have to eat. Oh, yes, they have to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have to eat. Yeah. So they are they are introduced to normal drain with care. Yeah. You see that? They are smart. They are very smart. Because they don't want the crocodile to eat them. Mm -hmm. You see that they are drinking and one is standing. Yeah. Watching. They don't trust the crocodiles. Mm -hmm. Even you who might have made a mistake and fall inside you, I don't think you are safe. I hope there are no crocodiles around <laughs> here. You turn a breakfast to them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that we don't have crocodiles close. Yeah, there are crocodiles around. So let's so let's go back, man. Oh, if you don't get into the water, they will not attack you. Okay. Yes. Uh. All right. So Albert, how are you taking advantage of technology? You know, to promote the park or to make your work easier because when we came we were just looking driving around to find the animals if for instance you had some binoculars or I mean anything something to track yeah. the animals to know that okay so the antelopes will be here at this time or the elephants will be here at this time it's gonna be easy how are you doing this yeah well, we are on course we are working towards Good that doctor. Especially the tracking devices, uh -huh. the track, yeah, the tracking devices. Yeah. So we are we are working towards that. For now, we've not gotten them, okay. but I know very soon sure in the near future, right. when you come to Mori National Park, I will just stand at the information center and direct you that let's go here. There's an elephant there. Okay. Yeah, with the help of the tracking device. Yeah. So does that make your work difficult or any easier now? It may, now, now because we don't have them, it's difficult because we are making search based on our luck. 
all because we don't use any device to track them. Because it's not too fair on us. Um, we are paying for the time yeah. and we have to keep moving around looking for the animals. So it's very possible that in your whole one hour, probably might not even find an animal and they have to go back. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say paying for the one hour is part of the going, going around, uh, wasting our time in the fault. That with a tracking device, Okay, supposing you have come, I want to see elephant, mm -hmm. and I use the device to track the elephant and say, let's go here. We'll get there with no time. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. After we got them, we are finished watching the elephants. What else do we do? We go and see the antelope. Mm -hmm. and then, we go and see the other animals. So, yeah. And you can, you can see so much, you understand, because yes. the, the reserve is so huge. Yeah. But then we just got to see little because we spent a chunk of the time yeah. searching. Yes. So we didn't see the animals that we came to see. So next time, so I'm assuring you, next time in the near future, it will not, it will not keep long. Don't become promise you. No, I, I'm not promising you. Okay. I'm not promising you anyway, okay. but it will not keep long. All right. You will come here and I will track the species you want to see. Mm. And we will make sure that you will see them. Okay. Yes. All right. Because we have a lot of them. But how to cite them now is a problem. Mm -hmm. right. You have to make search. But with a, with a device, we will not have a problem. Right. So, so who, do, mm -hmm. be on who trains you to use the weapons? Yes, we have our own instructors okay. that are marksmen. They are our instructors that train us when we are employed. They train us with ballistic. Ballistic means that is weapon training. Mm -hmm. Physical training on the ground, that involves gymnastics. Okay. And then running. Mm -hmm. And how to combat enemies. So what's that? Oh, that's an elephant right in front of you. Oh, yes. See an elephant. That's a male. A male. Elephant. Mm. But we have so, some particular elephants that we've named them. Okay, so has this one got a name? Karata. So this is old man. Hey, why how old is old man? Yeah, because it's old in the system. So we have given it a name known as old man. <laughs> Class captain. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a there's a oh, what talk. Oh, that's a what talk. There's a talk over there. Okay. Uh, but yeah. But what happened to the bird? Yeah, burning. the the, the yeah. was it intentional? No, this is control burning. Yeah, what, we. What do you mean by that? We do control burning to to prevent indiscriminate bushfire in Moli National okay. Park. Okay. Yeah, we okay. burn some particular areas. Mm. At the early stage, it, it it doesn't affect the vegetation. Okay. Yeah, this is what we do. Uh, so we do early burning. Uh, this so part this of the elephant. This was done intentionally. Intentionally, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the next two weeks, or an, a month time when you come here, you there will be green. There will be green. Yeah. You they, you see a lot of changes here. Yeah.